Can't save FaceTime Live Photos? Here are 7 fixes. Enable FaceTime Live Photos. To enable FaceTime Live Photos on iPhone, open the Settings app. Go to FaceTime Settings. Scroll down and next to FaceTime Live Photos, toggle the switch to enable the feature. To enable FaceTime Live Photos on Mac, open the FaceTime app. From the menu bar, click on FaceTime and select Preferences. In the Settings tab, check the box next to allow live photos to be captured during video calls. Clear out storage space. Open the Settings app on your iPhone. Go to General Settings. Then tap on iPhone Storage. Wait while your device calculates storage space. If the storage is full, go through your phone and delete unnecessary items. Reopen FaceTime. On iPhone with Face ID, swipe up from the middle bottom. On iPhones with a home button, double press it. Locate the FaceTime window and swipe up on it to force quit. Wait for a couple of seconds and reopen the app. Restart your iPhone. If you still can't take or save live photos on FaceTime, restart your device. The restart will eliminate any minor bugs and glitches that could have occurred during the session. Ask the other person to restart their device as well. Remove restrictions from FaceTime and camera. Open the Settings app on your iPhone. Tap on Screen Time. Scroll down and tap on Content and Privacy Restrictions. Then go to Allowed Apps. Locate the FaceTime option and toggle the switch to enable it. Do the same for the camera app. Re-enable iCloud Photos. Open the Settings app. Scroll down and tap on Photos. Next to iCloud Photos, toggle the slider to disable the option. Wait for a minute and re-enable the option. Now go to your Photos app and check if you see the live photos you captured during the FaceTime call. Update your iPhone. Go to your Device Settings. Then, go to General Settings, tap on Software Update and wait while your device searches for the latest update. If found any, update your iPhone. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.